Hi, my name is Sergio Machado. Uh, today, what I'm going to show you is the seatbelt lapel choke. I use this uh, to submit one of my opponents during the Pan Ams 2012. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off first on our opponent's back. As we're starting to work here, a lot of the time what ends up happening is we have a little bit of trouble with the controls and this guy's really good about getting out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by the hand under the arm. I'm going to feed the opposite lapel to be able to maintain control. By the time I take his back, chances are my lapels are going to be already loose, but if they're not, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I'm going to use the opposite lapel to feed over the opposite shoulder and to my hand. What this gives me is this gives me a really good control that now I can utilize just one hand instead of two. Once I get this position right here, I'm going to go ahead and cross over. Simultaneously, my leg is going to leave the hook and come over the shoulder as I push him away. So once I feed up here, I'm going to push his head and change my angle just a little bit to allow this ankle right here to be able to block his arm. He's going to be using his hand to kind of defend the choke, but as long as I have my palm down, I'm going to feed the lapel here and now I can block this hand. Making sure that I'm nice and tight with the elbow, I'm gonna drop my elbow, and now I can go ahead and squeeze and finish for the, the tap. Once again, I start on my opponent's back, ensuring that I'm on my side. I got nice tight hooks, nice tight grip, got a lot of pressure in the base of his neck with my shoulder, okay? I'm gonna feed now the opposite lapel to my hand to be able to maintain control and I get myself an opportunity to feed the opposite lapel over his shoulder. As Junior here tries to defend a little bit, he's going to start working here. He's worried about this hand and the control. He's worried about this one, especially since it's the choke hand. He's going to go ahead and try and break all these grips, which gives me an opportunity just to switch. And as soon as I get here, there's no immediate sense of danger. Ensuring that my palm is down, I'm going to come on the opposite side and once again I'm going to move his body over and change my angle, blocking his arm here so that I only have to fight one hand instead of two. I'm going to carefully feed the lapel to the hand, palm down, and now I can block this opposite arm somewhat like a crucifix position here, close my elbow and squeeze for the tap. It's a very effective submission from the back. And if you're having trouble controlling his lapels for the submission, this is a very good option. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. And uh, hit me up on uh, Facebook or send me an email and tell me what you think about it. Thanks. See this lap fight? Yeah. No, and, and he, told, he told the guy, dude, don't do that. He literally, like, I was right there. The guy who shooting in, I don't know, I think Smacked the guy slapped him. Garrett Frank, the guy who shooting in, and Garrett like yeah, Garrett, Garrett's like, dude, don't do that. Go, 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 go. Nice! And Garrett grabbed him back and the guy grabbed him back and Garrett grabbed him back.